trial will enter its penalty phase, and the jury will decide whether Zarnayev gets a life sentence or death. Adam Sexton joins us now to explain how legal analysts think things will play out. Well, Tom, this verdict may have been somewhat of a foregone conclusion, but attorneys say now it's anybody's guess whether Sarnayev will get life or death. Jokar Sarnayev is now officially a guilty man. The verdict, no surprise, after the defense admitted in opening statements that he and his brother carried out the Boston Marathon bombing. Now the question is, will Sarnayev pay for the bloodshed and mayhem he inflicted upon Boston with his life? There are uh, a lot of different factors that are actually spelled out in the law that the jury has to find uh, as either aggravating factor or mitigating factor. Former Assistant Attorney General David Ruoff says the defense team has been focused on the penalty phase all along, taking every opportunity in the trial to make it appear Sarnayev was the junior partner in this attack. They pointed out through the, through the main case how, you know, this defendant may have been under the will of his brother, that he was very impressionable, that he was the younger of the two, and I think you'll see a lot more of that developed uh, throughout the course of the penalty phase. The prosecution is expected to hammer away at the heinous and terroristic nature of the crime. But to get a Massachusetts jury to approve a death sentence, Ruoff thinks the government faces somewhat of an uphill battle. But, you know, if there is one case where it might be able to, to pass with a fairly liberal jury pool, you know, where you, where you bomb and kill people at the Boston Marathon, and one of them's a little boy, and it's, it's pretty gruesome and well planned out, and the murder of the police officer after that, and then the plan to go to New York and continue to bomb, that could push it over the edge, yes. David Ruoff says if Shilkar Sarnayev was somehow able to make some sort of statement of remorse, it probably wouldn't help him because at this point it would look opportunistic rather than genuine. Adam Sexton, WMUR, News 9.